Hey everybody, welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed our story today on Mother Bruce by Ryan Higgins. That was a great story and we had a lot of fun reading it. Um, but I thought we could do a craft to go along with the day to, today too. And at first I thought we should do a bear craft because it is all about Bruce. But we do a lot of bear crafts. So I thought maybe we could find something a little different. And I found a really cute goose craft that we could do um, using a paper plate. So um, this is what my sample turned out to look like. Yours does not have to look like mine. I guess technically it looks more like a white duck or even a swan. Um, if you wanted to make it look like a Canadian goose, you'd really have to paint the paper plate um, black up here and then brown down here first and then get um, the feathers that would match to go with it. Um, if you wanted to do a swan, then you want to change the beak to a black construction paper beak and the feet to also um, a black construction paper um, color instead of orange because swans are all white with black bills and feet. Um, and of course you'd want only white feathers. Um, unless you're doing your baby swan, in which case you'd want to make them gray with gray feathers. But if you're content to just make a fun little waterfowl bird, um, this is how you would do it. And you're going to need a paper plate, some orange construction paper, you're going to need some feathers. I really recommend that you get the fluffy kind of feathers instead of the uh, narrower kind of feathers. These are not going to fluff up as nice and lay as nice and they're harder to bend because they're stiffer. So you really kind of want to use the fluffier feathers like what you would put in a feather pillow. You're going to need um, some googly eyes. I recommend that for the um, older, for the parent duck, you're just going to want the medium size eyes. And then for the baby duck or swan or goose or whatever you're making, you're going to want the slightly smaller size eyes. You're going to need some glue, some scissors, a pencil, and a ruler, and that's it. And this craft is really easy to make and really good for little hands to work with in making scissors. Um, you can draw the lines and your kiddos can cut them out. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is a paper plate. And you want to take your ruler and your pencil and you want to draw three-fourths of the way across the middle of the plate. You don't want to go all the way through. So just draw your line to that point and stop. Then you want to measure three inches from this line up. And that's where you're going to be cutting off for the head of your bird. Then you need to get your kiddos to cut. Give them safety scissors. Um, do not use sewing scissors. And you just want to cut along this line all the way to where the circle of the paper plate comes around. Then you're going to want to cut along the edge of that circle. If you have a need for bifocals like I do, you might want to actually trace that out. That might be easier for you to see. But if you don't, you can probably find without any problem. And you want to cut that out and you can discard that little half. Then like I said, you want to come along here and have your kiddos cut that line just like so. And that makes the body of your bird. The next thing you need to do is to um, go ahead and glue your eye on. So we're going to get our larger size eye and our glue and we're going to put our eye on our bird like so. And then we're going to cut out the beak and the feet. To cut out the beak you're going to need a strip of your construction paper. You're going to want to cut out a two inch by um, two inch rectangle and then you can cut them into squares. And what I did is at the edge of the corner, um, I took that little scrap that I had here, my three inch scrap, and I brought it about an inch and a half from the corner diagonal. That shows me where the point of the beak would lay. And then when I lined it up, then I could draw a straight line here. And I just cut my beak like that. And now we're just going to round cut the edges here like so to round up our bird beak. And that gives you a kind of rounded beak. I have another larger one that I cut out here that also works the same way. Um, this would be good for like your baby beak. And this is good for your mama beak. And we're going to go ahead and glue that on. Um, I found it was easier to put the glue on the plate and then put your beak on top of that, like so. And then the same with the feet. You just want to cut out um, out of that rectangle of paper that you had. 
Um, you can draw um, your little webbed shape of your feet. It's just three, it's like a upside down W with big roundy thingies and then an edge. And you're just gonna want to glue on the, flip your bird over. And you just wanna put a little bit of glue on the bottom here and attach your feet underneath. Press them down for just a couple seconds and they should stick. <clears throat> Unless you're using cardstock instead of construction paper, then you might need to give it a little bit longer. All right, so there's the feet on our duck. All that's left to do now is to add the feathers. Now, um, I didn't have any white feathers left after I made this one. So we're gonna have our duck be a little bit like those rebellious teenagers. And he's going to have gone down to the hair salon because in the follow world they're open. And he went and got a dye job for his feathers. And he's beautiful with his purple, purple feather wings here. And he's going to be really showy. I think if you go to some of the bigger box stores, you can get these feathers in a large packet of multicolors. Um, they even got like peacock style feathers in there. So you can have all kinds of fun. Um, making your birds of a feather flock together, as they say. And that's how you make your um, your goose. And like I said, for the little goose, um, I simply took another paper plate and I cut out the center circle and then I did the exact same thing. I drew a line halfway across to about um, almost an inch from the edge of that. And then I just curved up and cut off about um, two inches from that line here. And then we cut a smaller beak and smaller feet and a smaller eye and of course smaller feathers. Remember that in the bird world that the boy birds are often prettier than the girl birds and the baby birds are usually, at least the bigger birds, aren't all that cute. They tend to be kind of um, scraggly and kind of scrawny. Their feather, their downy feathers come in unevenly. Um, although they do reach a stage where they are just downright adorable. And baby chickens and baby ducks are adorably cute. So if you have a chance to see a farmer this year, um, go check out his baby chickens and baby ducks because they will be just something that will um, make you smile. They're really cute. So I hope you enjoyed our craft today. This is a really simple one, and I hope your kids have fun making it. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.